Several Gainesville residents expressed concern following the University of Florida's plan to reduce RTS funding to the city. TV 20's Zitlali Solace tells us how some UF students feel about what might happen. I'm very worried about that. City commissioners heard from dozens of concerned residents about the possible elimination of bus routes. City of Gainesville staff delivered a presentation about regional transit service funding and UF's proposal. Many residents worry the plan will impact their day to day. By taking it away, it's going to make it harder to get to class. Like when, there, when it's like raining or thundering, the bus is also very helpful. And not having that, I feel like it's going to be a great inconvenience. Um, I don't really know how I'm, how I'm going to be able to get around. Um, and I'm going to, it's probably going to, I'm going to have to consider alternatives that I feel like are going to be like more work on me. Back in March, UF officials made a draft contract offering to pay $570,000 a month for RTS services starting in July. They currently pay a little more than a million a month. UF officials sent Mayor Harvey Ward a letter requesting a breakdown of costs, noting students pay double the standard fare. I hope that UF will um, stop doing this and will bring people in, like students, um, stakeholders in the city, um, and have like a real conversation about what would benefit us all, instead of, I feel like, um, making a very short-sighted decision. City commissioners made clear 11 university bus routes like this one would be eliminated. Mayor Ward states the impacts are not a threat, but reality. The new plan would also reduce bus hours of service and fires more than 50 employees. 52 families being affected means I can't pay my mortgage. 52 families being affected means I can't buy food. UF officials released a letter they sent to city leaders expressing surprise at the city for holding a press conference to announce the cuts and asking them to come back to the negotiating table. Zitlali Solache, TV 20 News.